Your chemical sunscreen is an endocrine disruptor's cocktail. A phrase we have heard a lot lately, so what's the deal? As a toxicologist, here is what you need to know. Your endocrine system is a group of glands and tissues that can release chemicals, aka hormones or messages, to affect other systems or organs in your body. In simpler words, we have a sender, a gland, a message, hormone, and a receiver, another organ or tissue. Endocrine disruptors are a group of chemicals that have the potential to activate the receiver instead of your natural message. Some chemical UV filters are always falsely accused of that on the daily basis. For a compound to be considered an endocrine disruptor, it needs to show two things. Requirement number one is the compound should have a strong affinity to the target receptor. Affinity means how strongly the chemical is going to interact with this receptor. In simpler words, the attraction between the receptor and the chemical. So far, there is no UV filters with a strong affinity to our receptor except one that I will talk about in later video if you like. Second is the dosage. We need the chemical to be in enough high concentration to overcome the affinity issue, which again in real life scenario is not going to happen, proven by in vivo data on humans. So here is why the issue is coming back again and again. Some skin experts online unfortunately are talking about things that are out of their field of expertise. Some of the video I saw online show some experts are not aware of the differences between affinity, potency, and efficacy, which are essential concepts if you want to talk about the toxicity of a chemical. A second point is that some experts are struggling to separate their personal opinion from their professional one that should rely on what the science is. You can't say as a medical professional to avoid an X chemical UV filter because it can be photosensitizing in less than 1% of the population. It is like saying to all people online to avoid penicillin because some are allergic to. So always seek experts online that are focusing on their expertise and as always stay safe.